Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video, this quick little video, I'm going to be showing you the most minimalistic push-pull valve audio amplifier that you've ever seen. Right, so I've just drawn this diagram real quick. So for a push-pull output, you need obviously a centre tap transformer and you need a minimum of three valves. Um, now here I've got triodes, but you could easily use pentodes. So we've got two output triodes there and we've got uh, a phase splitter that um, takes the incoming signal and splits it into a positive and negative signal to drive the grids of these two valves. Um, so as you can see, um, for push-pull output, three valves as a minimum are required. So let's just take a quick look at this amp. Um, I've just knocked it together on a piece of uh, fiberglass uh, copper clad board. Um, as you can see, we've only got ten components and one single valve. Um, now I'm running from a bench power supply. Um, I'm running a HT rail of 250 volt and... Um, We've got a uh, heater current of uh, 6.3 volt at 570 milliamps. And uh, of course the uh, centre tapped audio output transformer. Right, so that's the phone on. We've got some royalty free punk music. Um, that there is the centre tapped output transformer uh, running this little Kenwood speaker. Right, so this time I've got the output connected across this dummy load, it's a 4 ohm dummy load. Um, I'm feeding in a 1 kilohertz sine wave from a signal generator over there. And uh, that's the output waveform there at 1 kilohertz. Oh, that's hot. Right, guys and girls, so let's have a look how this is done. So one single valve actually contains three valves in one in a B9A base, um, all glass construction. So as you can see, there's one triode and there's two output pentodes all in there um, and two heaters. Um, now this amazing little valve will actually push to eight and a half watts in push-pull from a single valve. So let's have a look what it is. Well, it's the Lorenz ECLL800. Um, three valves in one, two pentos and a phase splitter. Um, now these are actually quite old. It's probably about 50 years old. And um, if you're thinking of making an amplifier with one of these, these valves are actually quite rare and you'd expect to pay between 40 and 50 pound just for uh, one single brand new valve so uh, yeah there there we go guys i hope you've watched i hope you've enjoyed the video uh, and uh, i'll catch you in the next one uh, the valve's cooled down now by the way all right guys girls i'll see you in the next video